Hey everybody, I'm Fanna Easter. So let's talk about how to make a scratch board um, for a, a larger dog. Um, this is the one that I have. I like this one. I mean, we'll talk about this in a bit, but I like to use a two by four because I like it to be nice and sturdy because it's a lot of pressure that your dog's gonna be applying, especially a really excited dog. They'll really have a tendency to push. Um, so this works for a, a dog that's kind of um, um, on the bigger side, or you can take, uh, you can join two two by fours together and then cover that in sandpaper. Um, or you can just get a big piece of plywood, big plywood and cover it um, with different um, like sheets of sandpaper so maybe you can put um, one and staple gun it another one staple gun it another piece of sandpaper staple um, staple it here another piece and staple it here uh, making sure to wrap around the edges okay so the back would be empty or you can actually maybe put a um, fine grit or a medium sized grit on one side and then flip it over and put the 30 grit a coarser grit so you can kind of switch kind of like a, uh, an emery board you can switch with a different polishing or whatever you need to do so make it really really versatile um, or you can use the size it works too Okay, so I hope that makes sense on how to make a big dog um, scratch board. Whichever size is easiest for you, I think the biggest thing is the way that it's actually being held. It should be held at an uh, angle. I find it easier to get a better nail, uh, a nail trim instead of flat. They just kind of trim the tops, or, I mean the bottoms. They're not really kind of getting that whole part of that nail. Um, so I like to take this and put this part on the ground, this part against, like I said, on the floor. And I put this on the ground. My legs are behind this to kind of anchor it. And then I hold here with my clicker. And as they scratch, I click and then give a treat. All right. I hope that makes sense. Again, I'm Vanna Easter. And uh, I'll see you around. Bye.